Hello and welcome to another edition of Paper Moon. I'm Anna Oppenheimer Smith and this is part two of Hell Through the Eyes of a New Yorker. Today we will be talking about tourists. I love tourists. If you don't live in New York City, you're thinking about coming over and just exploring the city, I don't even know you and I already love you. Mostly because tourists are exactly people who keep New York City legend alive. Can you imagine what would happen to New York City if 20 million people didn't try to come over every year and visit? There will be no more New York. The legend is dead. Tourists are the people who make me appreciate my city more. I remember once I complained to my colleagues that I have to stay local for holidays. And then I realized that there are so many people who are trying to get to New York for the holidays and they're paying a lot of money for that. And that made me shut up about staying local once and forever. So if you are thinking about visiting New York City anytime soon, thank you very much. You're truly keeping the legend alive. However, tourists can be very, very annoying. Same goes for my fellow New Yorkers. However, New Yorkers kind of learn these behaviors and they try not to do them. All these behaviors are aggravated by the fact that New York City is such a crowded and densely populated place. So when you do one of these, it really stands out. Here are a few things to not do in New York. Number one, asking for a specific address instead of a landmark name. Despite a very widespread belief, we New Yorkers are not called into mayor's office right when we move into the city for a digital map to be downloaded into our brains. So, no, I have no idea where 355th Avenue is, but if you're trying to get to Empire State Building, I can help you with that. So help me to help you and tell me what landmark you're trying to find and chances are I probably know where it is. To take this advice a little bit further, maybe learn a little bit of lingo before arriving to New York City. Things like number one, are you trying to get downtown or uptown? Everything in New York City is down versus up, so it will really help me if you tell me which way you're trying to go. Number two, what borough are you trying to end up in? Manhattan, Bronx, Brooklyn, Queens, Staten Island? Sometimes different boroughs will have the same street names. So in order for me to send you to the right place, let me know if you're trying to end up at 20 Gold Street Manhattan or 20 Gold Street Brooklyn. Those are two completely different places. Number three, what side are you trying to end up on? Is it east side or is it west side? 125 East 55th Street and 125 West 55th Street are two different locations, so pay attention to those pesky little letters, otherwise you might end up somewhere you never intended to go. And here is the last but a very important PSA regarding New York City lingo. No, the city does not include Brooklyn, or Queens, or Bronx, or Staten Island. Every time you hear the city in New York City, it means Manhattan. In fact, we New Yorkers very rarely say Manhattan, we just say the city. So don't fall into this trap. The second annoying thing that a lot of tourists do in New York City, and this is a personal pet peeve of mine, is taking pictures or selfies in front of random things. You see, I live on Wall Street, but I live at the end of Wall Street. Stock Exchange and Federal Hall are both at the beginning of Wall Street. Also, what is at the end of Wall Street is my gym that I go to every day. On my way, I have to pass this building, which is 14 Wall Street. And every time I pass the entrance to this building, there is always somebody taking pictures. Um, why? This building is just an old building with a bunch of offices and a gym inside. So I'm not entirely sure why people are taking pictures of it. My only educated guess will be that they have this sign that says 14 Wall Street about six feet above the ground. So people just want to take a picture with something something Wall Street. Because Wall Street is cool. But other than that, it's just a random building. And despite what you might think, not every building in the city has a historical value. Some of them are just random offices. But hey, you're not hurting anybody. From the list of things that I will talk about today, this is the least annoying one. So just go ahead and take that picture if you want to. Next up on our list is something that both tourists and New Yorkers do on a regular basis. And it is super annoying. And it is walking side by side. 
especially during the rush hour, which is pretty much every hour in the city. Just don't do this. This is rude. Manhattan is an island, which means that there is nowhere to go and we have very limited capacity. To add to that, streets in the historical neighborhoods are very narrow and curvy. So if you have more than two people in your party, walk right behind each other, not in a straight line. This way you will avoid a lot of angry glances from New Yorkers. Another flavor of the same problem is umbrellas. Yes, it is raining, yes, we all want to stay dry, but don't take out this huge umbrella, resort to a normal size one, because all of us want to stay dry and we run out of space in the city very fast. Another annoying thing that happens in New York is people not knowing what they want to order once they reach the counter of a quick service restaurant. Don't get me wrong, it happens everywhere, but because New York City is so crowded and because we are so pressed for speed, that makes this problem that much more annoying. Especially if you're trying to order something in a very popular joint during a rush hour, which is pretty much every weekday lunchtime. Be kind and know what you want to order before you get to the counter. And finally, I saved the worst for the last. You might not know New York City lingo, you might not know if you want to end up on east side or west side, downtown or uptown. You might take pictures in front of random buildings. That is okay. You will recover. But there is one thing that is so annoying, it should be illegal in New York City. Whatever you do, do not stop at the top of the subway stairs or in the middle of a walkway to take a selfie or figure out where you want to go next. Don't do that, we are all trying to get somewhere to work, to the gym, home, so be kind and step aside for whatever it is you are trying to do. And you will have full gratitude of all New Yorkers you will interact with. Other than that, enjoy your visit to New York City. It's the best city in the world and New Yorkers are very nice and very friendly people. We are different kind of nice, but it doesn't mean that we're not nice. If you can think of something else annoying or funny that New Yorkers or tourists do, please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for liking, commenting and subscribing and I will see you on the next video.